clay that if you have any association with kale in it probably is kaopectate which is the gritty mm -hmm. you know element everybody knows about everyone that. knows kaopectate <laughs> eventually you will um, these are datable by the uh, a lot of times they have a maker's mark like this has a design on it and a maker's mark to tell us who the manufacturer mm -hmm. this is a Llewellyn Evan from the 1680s out of Bristol England wow. so um, these are coming right out of the well <clears throat> in addition to maker's mark and physical feature that is datable is the borehole that uh, the boreholes are uh, temporally sensitive so we can date them by measuring the holes so um, and it's kind of fun to like I said I'm a prehistoric archaeologist a lot of times you find stuff you take back in the lab and you don't know it takes you about two or three months to figure out what it is you're looking at in historic archaeology you pick something up and you realize almost immediately what it is so it's a little bit fun and uh, you never you know regardless of how long I've been in archaeology you never really kind of get over realizing that the last person who touched this you know was 500 years ago and another thing you never get out of is when he touched it it was no big deal to him yeah. you know what I mean it was yeah. just <laughs> But, uh, you know, here I am oohing and on and, you know, posting stuff on Facebook, and this guy yeah. lost a pipe. Yeah. And, you know, when I uh, first started becoming involved in archaeology for real, um, I couldn't figure out why everybody always found pipe stones. I just couldn't figure it out. <laughs> but they start that long. Oh, yeah. And they just uh, break them off yeah, that's as the, they go. That is the kaolin pipe stem. That's, that oh, was wow. the, you know, that smoking technology. These are redware... Uh, smoking pipes these are the Civil War smoking pipes mm -hmm. and this is a little bit different that um, you know with the kaolin pipe like like Claire said they're about a foot long you would smoke it until you gummed up the top and then you just break off a piece and mm -hmm. you know you went your way down until you just couldn't smoke out of it anymore you throw it away these were uh, a little bit more rugged bowls they held up a little bit better and instead of having a stem that you broke off, uh, you carried this bowl around with you and you probably had a pocket full of reeds or a piece of bamboo or whatnot. You'd smoke out of it till you gummed it up and then you throw that one away and stick another one in here. And uh, we're getting quite a few of these out of, uh, it's very typical we get these out of the Civil War features, that this is a datable artifact to the middle 1800s.